I wouldn't say that I'm a guy with a lot of regrets, but when it comes to this whole YouTube thing, there's definitely one instance where I wish that I would have behaved differently. And if I could go back in time and change that shit, I definitely would. But then again, I, I suppose there's always that one moment that a lot of us wish that we could go back and change. But for me, it would definitely be the way I handled the X and Y release in October because, as most of you know, things did not go smoothly as we all anticipated in terms of what I would do for it. And the thing is, is that around that time, I had built up so much hype around myself and things had just worked in my favor to kind of get my channel a real big boost at the time. I think I was working with like almost 20,000 subscribers. It was really a time where things were just looking like they were going to be pushed to the next level. And then my behavior, when everyone was looking to me to do something amazing or to be able to post Wi Fi battles, what do I do? I, I, I did a Let's Play. And oh my god, the Let's Play was a disaster on wheels. It, it seriously was. And I do not mean to sound like I'm complaining and bitching, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of an understanding as to where my perspective is on this whole thing and how the X and Y release went down. The Let's Play just just failed on so many levels because I didn't know how to handle a Let's Play. On top of all that, you guys aren't a Let's Play audience. You were never a Let's Play audience in terms of Pokemon Let's Plays. And on top of everything else, I don't like Pokemon Let's Plays as well. Like, I, I barely like watching other people's Wi-Fi battles, but when it comes to Let's Plays, that that's an absolute no-no for me. And I mean, I'm not saying that to offend anyone who does Let's Plays, but Let's Plays in general for me were just never something that I could go with in terms of Pokemon base let's plays and so the fact that I tried to do one was just me trying to experiment to see what would work on my channel but the point where it was bad was when I realized that the let's plays were doing bad and yet I didn't do anything to change it now the perspective I'm not going to lie here like I'm gonna be totally honest with you at this point I was thinking oh well I'm gonna be better than the other youtubers who stopped all their let's plays because you know I want to show people that I can finish a let's play you know I'm not just gonna stop like a lot of other people did and I don't I know it sounds like I'm being an elitist asshole there I know it does but you know that's just the kind of thinking that I had at that moment and so I was saying to myself don't stop the let's play just keep it going you know people will appreciate that more but the let's play was sinking and it was sinking me at the same time because a lot of you guys saw that I was forcing a lot of it and I wasn't consistent with it because it was somewhat difficult for me to get used to since I didn't really I was kind of used to playing the game in my own ways which weren't really compatible with the let's play way and plus you guys aren't a let's play audience so I was trying to stay loyal to the people who enjoyed the let's play but that was only a very small percentage of my audience and it just it just snowballed into a train wreck, man. And then, at the end of the day, Nintendo came by with the copyright dildo and they jammed it up everyone's ass, so I couldn't even finish the damn Let's Play in the first place. And that was where it just really, really stung. I mean, I guess it was kind of good that the Let's Play was ended like that, though, because I would have, who knows when I would have finished that, you know? It was just so bad. It was bad. <clears throat> and the thing is, is that, I was getting so many subscribers just based on my Pokemon content and so many people that were looking forward to my Wi-Fi battles who had been watching them beforehand that you would think that my perspective would have been, okay, make Wi-Fi battles, you know, obviously. That's the first thing that I should have been concentrating on, but instead, no, it was the goddamn Let's Play, and it was a horrible decision, and even though, even though I guess you don't change things that happen because they make you the person that you are now, I really, really wish I could go back and change that, because that just totally was, just, it just totally mucked everything up, in my opinion, I mean... Yeah, I guess we learn our lessons, you know, I definitely learned a lesson from that. I mean, and so many people were getting so many views from the Wi-Fi battles in X and Y, like, it's, it was crazy. People were blowing up, man, and I'm just sitting here like, oh, well, you know, their Wi-Fi battles with 30,000, 40,000 views, shit, people still care more about my Let's Plays with 2,000 views each, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> of course the fuck not. Of course the fuck not. Nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> and it is, it, is, it is ridiculous that I managed to stay that stubborn and adamant about it. I'm a stubborn person. I really am. And when I have my own pre-notions on things, I can let those really ruin my progress, you know, because I, I, I just have a bad tendency on staying focused on one thing, and if the details aren't in place for that one thing to happen, then I'll hold everything else back until that one thing can happen. Trust me, this is the guy that you're subscribed to. This is the guy. But, um, anyways, 
Well, all those regrets aside, at the end of the day here, I am here to finally tell you guys that the Wi-Fi battles on my channel will be returning with a vengeance, so to speak. Just not right away. Now, the thing is, the Wi-Fi battles, I'll tell you right now, the first one is going to be posted in two days. So that's going to be on February 25th. You can expect the first Wi-Fi battle, and it will be amazing. Well, I mean, I can't, I mean, of course I'll say it, but I mean, it's up to you guys to determine if it will be amazing or not. But the thing is, is that it's not going to have all the revamps that I've wanted it to, because I haven't really finished my intro yet, and I haven't finished the new channel graphics for 2014 yet, so it's still going to have somewhat of an old feel to it. But nonetheless, it'll still be a Wi-Fi battle. It'll be what you guys have been asking for for almost six months now, and... I feel it's going to be well worth the wait. Now, I did want to release the Wi-Fi battles with my brand new updated intro and my new graphics and my new logo, my new channel layout and format and all that stuff. I wanted to drop that all at the same time, but I realized that doing that would be basically be shooting myself in the foot because who knows when the next new intro will be done and then, like, well, it'll be done soon, but not soon enough, you know what I mean? And when I looked back at my Wi-Fi battles when I started before, I actually been using an old intro up until I made my revamp, you know, bro. Brooklyn intro, you know, so it was kind of like, okay, I didn't really have all those new updated graphics back when my channel started posting Wi-Fi battles before, so why should I put such an emphasis on having them as soon as the Wi-Fi battles start now, you know? I can just start the Wi-Fi battles now, and then come out with the new intro and logo and graphics and banner and all that crap later on, you know, and it'll, I think it'll still be a hype effect, you know? And plus, I felt really pressured because posting the Wi-Fi battles as long as those are being posted along with the Attack on Titan now, since I have a huge Attack on Titan audience, as long as those are both being posted, I could count on being able to post any other video and you guys would still be receptive to it. But let's just say I posted a different kind of video right now, right? Without this video being posted, so many people would comment, yo, where's the Wi-Fi battles? Where's the motherfucking Wi-Fi battles? Etika, you posting all this, you posting all this Minecraft shit. Where's the Wi-Fi? You know, and, and, and it's true. It's fucking true, man. I can't even argue with that. It's the damn truth, man, and I've been fucking up real royally with that, but the point of this, wait, let me turn this shit a little brighter. No, that's too bright. Fucked up. Yeah, but, oh, sorry about that, but yeah, so the point of all this is just to give a formal apology to you dudes. Because it was totally fucked up of me to do that. Like, you know, I, I, I literally made you dudes wait a really long time for these Wi-Fi battles. It was insane what I did, and I definitely learned my lesson from that. I'm just going to be more focused on delivering the content that you guys need without worrying about all the details that come along with it. And I had told you that I stopped posting Wi-Fi battles originally because I was tired of 5th gen. I wanted to wait till 6th gen. But after 6th gen came out, there was no excuse. I should have been getting on that as soon as possible. But... Once again, your boy fucked up. I'm just thankful that a lot of you guys stayed, you know? I'm really thankful that you guys continue to watch my other stuff, even though I stopped delivering the main course, you know? I, I think that's amazing that you guys still manage to support me so much and that my channel managed to somehow stay afloat up till now. But we're back with the main thing. We're back with the core of it, baby. I don't know where this channel's going to go in the next few months. I remember giving you guys the same speech back last year in February when I had 200 subscribers. Isn't it crazy? Last year, at this time, I had 200 subscribers, man. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> and now I got 28,000. That is, that is fucking incredible. What kind of percentage boost is that? I mean, it's been a year. It's been one hell of an event for one. And, you know, this is actually the channel's um, one year anniversary. The one year anniversary was, um, if we go on my main channel right now, I'm just going to go look at my main channel because I have the anniversary posted up on the channel trailer video. And yeah, the anniversary of this channel was February 20, February 16th, 2012. It's February 23rd, 2013. The progress has been crazy. And so, when I say that here comes the Wi-Fi battles, that's just, this doesn't just mean Wi-Fi. This means a whole slew of other things that are coming along with this that I'm hoping is going to be able to entertain you guys. Bring new viewers to the uh, um, bring, bring new viewers to the channel, and just be able to help people recognize the stuff that I'm trying to do out here. And uh, I hope that it'll open up opportunities in the future. And so I, I'm just basically making this as a way to alert you guys that you know we're back on the ball here. I'm back on the ball. The Wi-Fi battles are coming on Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. 
definitely be ready for that. I'm going to be trying some new ideas. I got a couple of new tricks in the bag, you know. I mean, of course, you know, I'm going to be coming through with those teams that I usually like using. And of course, like I said, I'm not a I'm not a 100% competitive player. I just play by competitive rules and like smog on and whatnot. So, you know, you'll you'll be seeing some unusual sets from me. But then again, I'm 23 years old, about to be 24 this year. I'm kind of bored with the game, so you have to forgive me if I try out a sex that seems totally unfathomable. But hey, man, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of an older guy, you know, I ain't, I ain't 16, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyways, thank you for tuning in. This video has been long as hell as it is. Expect me, expect me. I'm here. I'm going to be doing my thing once again. I'm back in the building. I'm going to be posting very frequently from now on. And I'm hoping that the content you guys will enjoy. A lot of you like the Titanfall. A lot of you like the Minecraft mini games. This shit is about to be blown off the top. <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And in terms of challenges, because a lot of you said, oh, can we challenge you in Pokemon? Right now, no. Because when I opened up challenges before, it was when I had 200 subs and it was easier to do. But now there's literally hundreds of you dudes trying to battle me on any given moment and it'll be impossible for me to cater to that kind of number so I mean right now no challenges but I'll be trying to see if I can open the way for it as well soon I got this motherfucking webcam here I'm gonna be doing some goddamn live streams so you know when it comes to challenges we have this option you know this thing is so look at this shit look at this I haven't used this thing ever since I bought it see that has dust on it for God's sakes look at that that's freaking that's freaking retarded man I don't understand why I, I bought an I bought this is one of the best webcams in the market if not the best the what is this the Logitech C920 1080p Carl Zeiss yeah I, I got a nice ass webcam I haven't even used this shit yet but that'll definitely be changing in the future the very near future but this is just to get hype you know the Wi-Fi battles are coming back man we're ready this is a long ass fucking video. Thank you for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.